everyone and welcome to yet another Tokyo Treat character design video. I'm sure you could tell by the title of this video, we are going to be designing a mermaid character based on every single snack in this box. If you don't know what Tokyo Treat is, it's a monthly subscription box for Japanese snacks. Follow the link in the description to get your own Tokyo Treat and of course, thank you so much to Tokyo Treat for sending me this box. Yes, I know Mermaid was in May last month, but international shipping can be kind of a butt and I really wanted to do this video. Okay, let's see which snack our first character is going to be based on. And the first thing I see here are these Sriracha rice chips. They definitely taste like Sriracha and they're very, very thick and crunchy. But of course we aren't basing these character designs on the taste. We are of course basing the character design on the look of these snacks. So of course I did have to incorporate a lot of triangles into this character design, adding some extra fins and stuff that I don't normally put on my mermaids. The character's hair is in triangles and of course the little ear fin things are triangles, making for a, I don't know, maybe a sort of Dorito mermaid character, which I never thought in my life I would be creating. I mean, really, do you ever look at your career and think, yeah, I'm gonna make a Dorito mermaid? No, no, absolutely not. Either way, this character is quite triangle heavy. Even the eyeballs are triangle shaped. And overall, I had a lot of fun with this first character design. And although it looks like I end up adding a lot of blood to the character, it's actually supposed to be vitiligo, which I only just realized is supposed to be lighter than your normal skin tone. Whoops. I thought that the chips had a lot of different variation of color on them, so I thought I would incorporate that across not only the orange parts, but also the skin bits too. And there you go. Okay, our second character is going to be based off of what I see here is this Dragon Ball Z cheese puffs. Here we go. Wait a second, I just bit into this thinking it was supposed to be a cheese puff. Look right there. It says Dragon Ball Cheese Puffs, but I got a gummy. I'm very confused. So because there were already so many different gummies in this particular box, I didn't want to do another gummy character. So I thought I would also try to include the cheese puffs that I, I didn't get. Though I will admit this character isn't entirely based on the cheese puffs. It made me think about a puffer fish. So of course I did a puffer fish. Cause you know, cheese puffs, puffer fish, you know, you, you, get, you get it? Okay. But I also wanted to include the gummy that I did end up getting in my box. So I came up with this puffer fish that got spooked, it puffed up, and it made it spit out some eggs out of its butt. Now I know this is probably not what puffer fish eggs look like, but when I saw that round orange gummy, it made me think of roe, like the normal orange eggs that you would see from fish. I mean, not normal fish, but the, the ones you eat. <laughs> I mean, I did put a human half on a fish, so let's be honest, we're not looking for accuracy here, but I thought it was a funny character and that's what I ended up with. Our next character is going to be based off of these Senzu Bean Edamame Share Pack. Wow. These are so cute. They look like edamame and they even taste like edamame. Who'd have thunk it? This mermaid reminds me so much of the glow worm toy. If you Google that, it's basically a Cabbage Patch Kid that's a worm instead of an actual kid's body. Anyways, so this is a weird one, but I thought it was really interesting how those edamame snacks, I guess, were so like long and worm-like. It was sort of like a tail of a mermaid. So of course I had to make the tail of this mermaid basically just an edamame. But also there's a lot of green here. Her hair's sort of round. She's round herself. I had an extra little earlobe on her ear because I thought that sort of represented the bean parts of an edamame. And of course I had to give the character some little baby edamames with her. I also just really love her green lips and her red eyes really complement her green body. So here is this edamame. Oh my gosh, edamame mom. Cause she has, ba oh geez, cause she has babies. Okay, so that's enough of my stupid jokes and my stupid character design, so let's move on to the next one. Oh, and did you notice the little bug walking around my piece of paper the whole time I was trying to paint? Go back, look, he is all over the place. They weren't joking when they said this box was anime themed. Our next snack is this one piece DIY bubbly jelly. Oh my gosh, the DIY is quite a stingy, fluffy melon flavor. 
I love how it sounds like I said stinky when I actually said stingy because it kind of had a little, a little sting to it. Anyways, so this character design I thought would be really fun if she was a sort of mermaid witch character and she was either healing herself from being hurt or she was, I guess, just straight up creating herself. So the idea here is let's pretend she did get hurt and maybe a shark bit off her tail. So because she is a witch, she can create herself by creating this foam and she bubbles up and regenerates a limb or whatever she needs to regenerate. Now the one thing I didn't pay attention to until I created her is that the blue foam was actually on the bottom of the cup and the green foam was at the top. So I did create her in mind with the green on the bottom but really it was supposed to be the other way around. That's why I made her hair have that blue to it and her tail to the green to it. Oh well. <laughs> Either way this is a fun character with a fun little story behind her. Our next character is going to be based off of Umaibo Men Taiko. These Umaibo snacks are always an adventure. This one is roe flavored. It's, uh, yeah. So these Umaibo snacks are basically a Cheeto that's a sort of tube shape. So I wanted to play around with the fact that it's this sort of fluffy, crunchy material. And also it's a tube thing. So I gave her this weird sort of hairdo where it's a tube thing. Well, I guess it's more of like a tire shaped because it's not long like a tube. But basically I wanted to represent the Umaibo shape where there's a hole in it. So I gave her that the weird hairdo. What I don't know mermaid culture. They have some weird hairdos down there. What, what do I know? But anyways, this character ended up looking more like a shrimp tempura than an Umaibo inspired character. That's because I gave her the normal tail of a mermaid, but then I gave the rest of her that sort of texture of the Umaibo, sort of crunchy fluffy Cheeto situation. It doesn't mean I like this character any less, but it definitely means that this character doesn't look anything like the Umaibo at all. But I still really like this character and actually she's the first mermaid of this group that I drew. I didn't draw them in order, I actually drew them super, super out of order. And that is our Umaibo designed mermaid. Next we have this Choco Pie Party Pack. Yum yum. Let's try it. And then create a character. These Choco Pies are cute, fluffy, and delicious. So this character is more inspired by what the, I guess, snack is and not actually what it is. That makes no sense. Basically, I saw on the front cover of the snack it had chocolate dripping down on top of these cookies that had the white in the middle. So it gave me the idea of creating a character that had a sort of oil spill designed, inspired sort of thing. I know it's not chocolate, but I guess these are... These aren't supposed to be mermaids made from the snacks, it's supposed to be inspired from the snacks. So I did take the color scheme from the snack, but like I said, I was really inspired by that chocolate dripping down and it looking like oil that it would be fun to create this sort of sickly looking mermaid because she is living in a toxic place with oil. Her hair is covered in oil and she is very pale. The light brown from the cookie is the color I made her fin and then her skin is just straight up white like the middle filling because she's sickly. She looks sickly and her lips are blue because, because oil. Take care of the earth, kids. Oh yes, I am very excited because our next snack I see here is Splatoon gummies. I love Splatoon. And how appropriate for a mermaid character. These Splatoon candies are melon and orange flavored. They're pretty good. So I have to admit it was really hard to not just straight up create my own Splatoon OC character. Because not only is the packaging Splatoon, I like Splatoon, but the little candies themselves were the Splatoon characters. So it was really hard to just think inspired by, inspired by, don't just recreate this snack. In the end, it was pretty similar to just creating my own Squid OCs, but I did my best to just make a generic mermaid that was squid based. I kind of felt like the colors were all over the place on this one because I don't really like neon colors and it just looked so off from the natural skin tone. And maybe I probably should have played around with giving their skin tone a not natural look. But either way, I decided to go with both colors of squid so we have the male character in the front waving to the female character in the back. And that is my quite generic squid mermaid character. Our 
next snack is going to be this Don Taro Udon snack. And we're going to create a character, obviously. Oh wow, these are so cute. It's just like eating a dried salty ramen snack. So I will admit I was quite inspired by a lot of the mermaid sort of, what? Mermaid sort of, mermaid drawings that I had seen throughout mermaid because a lot of people like to do things where they make mermaids into sushi or something. So when I got this little packet of ramen, my head immediately went to making a sort of squid mermaid and having it noodles and then having someone eat those noodles. I meant to say udon, not ramen, and I meant to say octopus, not squid. Whoops. So I was pretty excited to make this mermaid and I know the whole point of this series is creating characters inspired by food, but it's really fun to create a character that is actually the food in a way, I suppose. So making this noodle squid mermaid was so much fun. I even had the hair noodles and all the tentacles are obviously the noodles. And having those chopsticks hold the mermaid, or I guess merman, while he is looking quite annoyed like, okay, you got me. Can we get this over with already? Oh, it would have been cute to have the character like squirting the broth at the person. Oh well, next time. Next we have these Boruto pineapple jellies. This is an interesting one. Um, it's like jello, pineapple flavored. Okay, I'll admit this character design is more of a goof than anything, but those little jello cups really look like a jellyfish, like the top of a jellyfish. So I thought, okay, I should do a jellyfish mermaid, but then I also thought I should do a reverse mermaid jellyfish because I mean, you see those reverse mermaid regular fish, but how often do you see a reverse jellyfish mermaid? You know, with all those legs, you gotta have six legs. So like I said, this, this one's more of a goof and I know jellyfish don't have faces, but it just kind of felt wrong just being a thing with legs. So I had to have a face on it and there's all these legs coming out of the jellyfish sort of jelly creature. Now I know it would make sense to just have one skin tone because it's the same creature and why would it have different skin tones? But honestly, this made it so much easier to follow the legs and where each one goes. So I actually have no regrets from that. Like I said, it was a goof from the start and I love it. Our next snack and character are these Shinchan Chocobee Almond Tofu Corn Puffs. So these are really cute, but they also have quite an interesting almond taste. I like it. So I based the general shape on this character from the star shape, obviously, because that's an adorable snack. But I didn't want to just create a starfish mermaid because that would be kind of boring, though honestly it just kind of looks like a starfish mermaid. Technically, I kind of made it a sort of octopus star sort of thing. It's sort of a combination of both. She has these little tentacles, but they're really short. Also, there's only five because it's supposed to be based off of a star. And I also gave her a lot of stars all over her design. And the reason why she isn't just white is because, well, mainly that would be boring. <laughs> It's a character on a white piece of paper. I didn't want to make her just white. So I thought it would be really cute to sort of base her color on the fact that it's almond flavor. Almonds are brown, so I gave her brown skin. And then I also made the sort of octopus part of her a darker brown, sort of reddish. Overall, I'm really happy with this character. I think she's adorable and I gave her sort of freckles all over. But don't ask me what her hair is made out of, cause I have no idea. Next, you know, you know, everyone's favorite anime, uh, Thomas the Train Engine Chewy Candy. That's definitely my favorite anime. It's definitely grape, and even though it looks like gum, it's actually a chewy candy. So this is one of the more weird designs for my mermaids. I wanted to make this character a sort of eel character because, well, it's candy, but it looked like a piece of gum. So gum is sort of this long eely type of thing, right? So I don't really have a specific animal that this character is based off of, but it's basically just this longer flat sort of eel wormy sort of mermaid character. And because it's gum, all I could think was just smooth and in gum, so this character has no hair, 
but that's okay. He's still adorable and he's very bashful and he's very shy and you're making him blush, so stop looking at his nipples. I also wanted to break out my gold watercolors. I don't know why, but I colored the Triton gold and also the eyeballs because I thought this little dude is, he's a pretty boy. So there he is. <laughs> Surprisingly, this is not the weirdest character design out of the bunch. Our next character will be designed off of this Shinchan gummy. It's a gummy that definitely tastes like Japan's classic Coca-Cola flavor. So the gummy I got is Coca-Cola flavor, but in the description it said you could either get Coca-Cola flavored or the sort of soda flavor, which is the blue gummies. I have done so many snacks already that are like a brown color, so I didn't want to do another brown character. How often do you get blue candies, right? So I decided that I would base my snack on the alternative that I didn't get, which was the blue gummy. So I thought it would be fun to create this sort of, it's more of a fish, I guess, than a human, but it is, I guess, of human intelligence and it has arms. Maybe it's a baby. I don't know what's going on with this character. I just drew it. You know how there is those see-through creatures in the deep sea? Well, I guess it's kind of based off of that. It's, well, it's a gummy, so they're see-through and it's blue and well, I guess that's it. It's just a mermaid that you can see through and there's a skeleton. So there's one where it's just normal gummy, there's one with the guts, and then there's one with a skeleton. So enjoy that nightmare. Our next snack is Baruto Hand Gummy. I don't know why they keep making the Baruto candy pineapple, but it sure is another gummy pineapple. All right, so you know I'm definitely going to play around with the fact that this candy is a hand-shaped, like a long stringy thing with a hand at the end. So of course I made this mermaid not with a fin at the end, but with a hand at the end. Don't ask me how she swims. I, I don't know how she does it, but there she is. Again, this is another weird one because I made her bald. I really wanted to play around with the fact that mermaids probably wouldn't have hair if they existed. So that's why I kept going back to like not actual hair and just like weird foamy hair stuff. I don't know why. Also, I didn't give my mermaids noses. Did you notice? Did you notice? <laughs> I know fish have noses, but they're just kind of slits. So I definitely played around with the fact that all of my mermaids have holes in their face and not actual noses. Anyways, the design of her boobs, one of them is a star and one of them is a shell because the gummy also had the smallest little tiny star gummy with it. So I thought it would be cute to have her have mismatched boob things. And that is my weird character design. Next one up is actually my favorite, so I'm quite excited. And last but not least, we have our drink Minute Maid Crafts Cherry and peach, yum. Oh my gosh, that cherry and peach Minute Maid is very light and refreshing and fruity. I like it. Okay, like I said, this is my favorite drawing out of all of them, typical save the best for last. So of course this is the drink snack and I wanted to play around with some sort of liquid aspect of this mermaid. I know she's underwater because she's a mermaid, but I wanted to play around with her hair being made of something that isn't water or I guess isn't solid, but not water also. I guess it's supposed to be the drink, but that doesn't make sense because it's man-made. Let's not think about the details. So basically her hair is a liquid and she likes to save fruit in her hair because she's saving it for a tasty snack later. I thought it was just the cutest little design and the colors. Oh my God, the colors just went together so well. Her skin is brown, but there's just a little bit more red in there. So it just matches with that pink color. And that pink color is so cute. Basically I love her and I'm gonna marry, I'm gonna marry my drawing cause she's super cute. Also something else I played around with with these mermaids was not giving them five fingers most of the time. And I even played around with their arms slash hands being weirdly shaped. I had a lot of fun playing around with mermaid design if you couldn't tell. And that is it for this video, 14 mermaid designs based off of 14 Japanese snacks. Once again, thank you so much to Tokyo Treat for sending me this box. If you want your own subscription box, check the link in the description. Of course, I have to ask you guys, which mermaid design is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, including Michael Young, Zach Abstract, Lex CS, Shelby, 
Megan, Chris Side, Davy Tomato, Cool Guy Josh, Mina Blix, Hey Lucy, Eddie, Mackenzie, Maureen A, Pi, Loganites, Leah Shibutani, Drizzle, Rhea Damaraju, Pencil Art Madness, Cindy J. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, access my sketchbook, coloring pages, and more, become my patron by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye.